be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm going to be going over several key commands you can use to make beats in Logic Pro 10. This is going to be our 2023 edition, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, first thing I'm going to be talking about is actually what we could do within this workspace window. Um, a lot of what we're going to be doing is going to be within here, um, you know, creating new tracks, different things like that. So first thing, um, if you look at this playhead right here, this is going to help you to navigate throughout, uh, you know, your session. I find that, you know, knowing a hotkey to move this around is very helpful. So I'm just going to show you if you touch uh, the greater than or less than signs, you can move this right here i mean that's going to be dope for editing that's going to be dope for like you know jumping around at different places in your uh beat so that's one thing that you can do here as far as with a key um a key command um another thing let's just look over here as you can see this beat has like different like step sequencer patterns if you ever want to convert this you could just go ahead and push control option and uh, command and the letter M control option command M and that quickly converts these from um, step sequencer or patterns to MIDI all right so super simple on that another thing that I find that I'll do a lot is um, just doubling this up so like so for instance say if I want to make copy of this and extend this throughout the uh, workspace window pushing command R does that so I use that a lot when it comes to making my beats um, also another thing that I do a lot is muting um, files within the workspace window so if you push control and the letter M that's going to mute this and this is usually done um, you know during like the beat arrangement section uh, or part of the beat making process so like I'll mute out certain things and everything like that so yeah so another thing I like to do is use uh, what's called force legato and what force legato does it basically takes whatever note you have and extends it to the end or the beginning of the next note and so if you hit the shift button and um, right above your return button or your enter button you're gonna see like this uh, little line or in forward slash so you're gonna hit that button so shift and, and forward slash that does force legato automatically okay um, another thing that I like to use here is pushing the letter P all right now actually gets us in this piano roll um, box here so like you know anytime you need to go ahead and jump right into editing just push P and you can get into any of these um, let me see what else do I like to use a whole lot of um, if you push the letter T that brings up your tools so that's a quick little boom and then also you if you look right here there's other letters that uh, coordinate with certain things so a lot of times I'll push T and then push A and that's going to bring up that fade tool. But you can also go T, P, T, E, you know, e, pretty much learn some of these. But I just push T, that will get you your tools. And that can be good for certain things as well. So that, um, another thing too is, um, is bouncing, um, your MIDI files into places audio so if you want to convert like a MIDI track or whatever into audio just push control so highlight it first and then push control and then push B and then that's going to bounce this region in place ultimately creating a um, audio track of this boom and that was control B now um, 
Let me see here. I'm just trying to give you all stuff that's like not super common. Like everybody's gonna tell you, oh, yeah, this is how you create a new track. Okay, you know, this is how you, um, you know, create a new set session. This is how you save. So I'm not covering that in this particular video. I want to give y'all, you know, some sauce, if you will. Um, I'm just trying to think of just really anything else, man. Like those are the, some of the main um, hotkeys. I'll say this to some other hotkeys that you can use as far as like within here. If you hold down option and push the up or down arrow, it'll take it up a semitone. And if you hold down um, option shift up or down, it'll take it up an octave. So I use this a lot like, uh, you know, with my melodies, I use this a lot, you know, even like, you see, like as you can see here, hi-hat patterns and different things of that nature. Um, but yeah, those are going to be some of the main stuff that I use here as far as hotkeys. Um, obviously, I also do like trimming. So like command T like for editing, you know, stuff like that. I use undo a lot, so command Z. Uh, you know, that gets used a whole lot. But for the most part, that's it, man. You know, uh, uh, last thing I'm gonna talk about is musical typing. If you push command K, that's gonna bring up this musical typing, which is basically to where you can use the uh, your MacBook or your Mac computer to make your beats and stuff. So Command K, that's how you do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, man. Make sure you go ahead and head out to our site, beatmakingbasics.com. It's gonna be your best option as far as getting courses, kits, uh, templates, and different things of that nature to help take you to the next level with your you know, music production. So if you really like our videos here on YouTube, you're gonna love the courses because everything is packaged together in a curriculum, um, it's organized, goes really in depth. It comes with like resources, um, a lot of times source files and stuff like that. So it goes a little bit deeper. Make sure you head over there, check that out, man. And make sure you get subscribed to the channel if you're brand new. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. We're out.